Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fulman Adventure Club and today we're checking out a really cool small portable solar generator by Lion Energy. This is called the Safari LT. It has 450 watt hours of power inside of it, a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter, so it's safe for lots of little electronics, and it only weighs around 10 pounds, so it's incredibly lightweight, very, very portable, and we're gonna be going over the unboxing and a lot of the uh, plugs and ports and technical specs in this video. I do another video where I put it to the test running refrigerators and coolers and camping gear and TVs in your whole house's internet and all that good stuff. I will put a card up top that'll take you over to that video if you're interested. Um, if you wanna pick one of these up, there's a link down below that'll save you 15% on all Lion Energy products, which is a pretty big deal, or you can call in and use the code word adventure. So why don't we jump into the unboxing and all the technical specs right now. So starting off, we're gonna go ahead and open the box here for the actual Safari LT, and inside you're gonna have the box itself. It has a lot of little features and specs and how long it'll run things. And once we open that guy up, we're gonna see that we have the manual, we have a DC car charger, and we have the slow wall charger for the AC, so you can just plug it into your wall at home and charge it up. The unit itself weighs 11 pounds, is incredibly lightweight, and has all these cool little features on it that we'll get into in just a second. And now we're gonna open up the actual, uh, it's kind of an accessory box, and we have a long length of cord there for the solar panel, because I did get the kit. And you're also gonna, it also comes with a fast wall charger, which is great. All of these LED lights, they have a ton of cord, so you can plug those in and use those for camping. And the solar panel itself is very straightforward, came well packaged, it looks really well built. It has protective corners, nice latches, and everything is labeled. It does have its own stand legs, so this thing is gonna be a lot of fun to try out, and it looks really, really sturdy. Okay, so starting off, you're gonna have your main power switch. You hold this down for about three to four seconds. That's gonna turn on the display. The display itself does read any solar power that's coming in in watts, power that's going out in watts. It also has an estimated remaining runtime, as well as a nice big battery display to give you an idea of how much of your internal battery is left. Uh, it does have a reset button located right below that if for any reason your battery were to get too low and shut off on its own or something. You can easily reset the system by using that reset button, so that's always nice. Uh, you're also going to have your wall and auto charger port right here. This is where you're going to plug in your car charger or your wall charger, and that's going to charge your unit up. Here is your solar charging socket, and you can put 140 watts of solar onto this guy. Cool thing about this socket is it's going to regulate the power coming in. So if you put 200 watts on this, it's going to make sure it only takes 140 watts, which is all that it can actually handle. So it's going to protect itself in that manner, which is great. Uh, you're also going to have your carrying handle, of course. And as far as output goes on the DC side, um, you're going to have a little button right here that you push that turns on all of the DC output features right here. So you're going to have push that button for about three seconds. And you're gonna have your cigarette lighter output socket, so you can plug stuff in, uh, you know, that would take a normal cigarette lighter adapter. This is an unregulated socket, so it's gonna be at the same voltage as whatever the internal battery is inside. You're also gonna have uh, your DC output socket, so this is just gonna supply DC power through these four ports right here that you're able to use. 11, you're gonna have uh, your, your, you're also gonna have uh, your USB, USB-C, and USB PD outputs right here. And these are all fast charging USB outlets, so you can charge your phones and smart devices with fast chargers, which is fantastic. On the side, you're gonna have a little button that activates the inverter for AC appliances. And you hold that button for about three or four seconds, that's gonna kick on the inverter. And then you're gonna have two 110 outlet plugs on the side that you can use to run anything that runs off AC power. If you need to add more plugs, you can easily just add a little surge protector on there, you know, some, with some extra plugs on it. Uh, like I did if you need to run more than two devices. This is the same for pretty much anything. If you want more USBs, you can easily use a USB splitter. If you, use, if you need more DC sockets, you can easily add a DC socket splitter like I did in my tests. So that's the basic rundown. Why don't we get into the tests right now? Okay, so now that we understand all the plugs and ports that are on this guy, keep in mind that of course you can't expand these just by using say a surge protector so you can plug in as many AC things as you want as long as it doesn't exceed the 500 watt inverter. Same thing with the USBs, you can always use splitters and for the 12 volt cigarette lighter of course you can split that as well. For things that uh, their estimated run times on this 450 watt hour battery, which, is, which works out to about 37 to 40 amp hours for those of us that think in those terms. 
um, and that 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. What they say will run on their website, they say it'll run a mini fridge at 55 watts for 6.5 hours, which is fine. But in the test that I do where I actually hook this up to my double door LG refrigerator, it actually made it six hours powering that. So you can see that video up top. I will put a card up there if you wanna watch me testing it on all this different stuff. That's where you're gonna find that information. They also say it'll, change, it'll charge an iPhone at five watts for 72 hours or 25 times, a laptop at 45 watts for eight hours, a 55 inch LED TV for 4.8 hours, an LED reading lamp at four watts for 90 hours, and say if you're charging a drone at 40 watts, it'll charge that for nine hours. Um, tons of time on the LED lights that come with this guy. Um, it's like a hundred plus hours <laughs> running those. And so it really can run a lot of stuff for a long time. It just really depends on how much you're throwing at it all at one given time. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. I've been having a ton of fun playing with mine. Um, would I recommend it for you? Yes, as long as it meets your needs and applications. Uh, if you're trying to run a microwave, it's not going to do it. They run it like 1500 watts. Uh, small air conditioners and big appliances and stuff like that, absolutely not. This guy is really, really portable and designed for small electronics. But I mean, my 60 inch TV, I ran that in that video as well, and it did a great job. So it can handle a lot, but big appliances, this isn't what you're looking for. If it is what you're looking for, for say car camping, RV use, it fits in such a small space, the battery stays charged for up to a year, pull this guy out and use it for small electronics at your picnic table, at the campsite, in your tent, running a small electric blanket, um, all kinds of fun stuff. It's absolutely for you. And I ran my internet and my TV in my house during a power outage in that video and it did a great job. So I think if you're using it for the right things, this thing seems very well built, sturdy, and I think it's gonna last for a long time. The uh, battery techni uh, technology is lithium ion, so it's gonna hold its charge for up to a year and probably give you a thousand plus cycles uh, depending on how you use it, probably more. So I think it's a pretty cool little device. Again, if you're interested, there's a link down below. You can go over to Line Energy and save 15% on all their stuff, and that's a pretty big deal, guys. So no brainer there, or you can call in and use the code word adventure to save you a bunch of cash, and that helps me out as well. Um, if you'd like to check out the video where I test everything, that is up above. And until the next time, thanks so much for watching, and happy camping.